Hi, this is Johnny. I just bought the bubble bubble arcade machine, and it came in like a couple of weeks ago. It was on sale for one hundred twenty nine dollar, and I can't resist because it was a very good price. For uh, I think this is from Namco or something, and oh, I think it's from either Namco or Wave Wave thing. I forgot which company. But let's go ahead and open it up and see what it look like and uh, do a re review on it and measure the screen, see if the screen's all good or not. All right. Okay, it just boot up. Uh, it looked very nice. Uh, it looked very pretty. And it was like a hundred twenty nine dollar from Amazon.com, and I have a light up mark here. So this uh this is from Num Numskull, and so I have Patman from Numskull and Galaga. So this will be added to my collection. I'm waiting for Dick and Doug to go on sale because that's one of the cabinet that I really would love to buy. But it's still $169 from Amazon. And I was hoping that the price would be cheaper. But apparently it is not. <clears throat> so let's look at the the overall. Let's bring it down. And let's look at all the artwork. Let's make it brighter. And let's look at the artwork and see how it looks. Let's see if I can move it back more. Okay. <clears throat> so there is the uh, the marquee. It's very pretty. Uh, it's very nice. And let's look at overall artwork. So here's the side view. And there's the other side view. Very nice. And then the back view. And it's very nice. It's not like RK one up. The back it looks terrible. So this is like a very RK, you know, scale down, and it's very nice. And I think this screen is bigger than the new Wave RK. This one I think is more like a four in four four inches screen. So let's go ahead and measure it. See how big this screen is. But I, uh, I think the other one, the wavelength, their screen is smaller. And yeah, it's a four inches screen diagonally. Now, I like the way how this is was done. See how the artwork on the side, on the side, it kind of like have a little bit of like inward. So if you measure this from here to there, from here to there, it's four inches. But if you measure the the screen itself, it's bigger because you know they did the artwork to they make it look where the wood is tend to come out more. I don't know if I could capture that on the screen. See how the the size right there. You can see the wood on the side. So it kind of like uh, seep into see the corner. See how that corner is. So let's check the screen out. The screen on the sides on top, it look good. And let's look at the bottom. It seems very clear on all the angle. It's not like RK one up, they, the first and second generation, and they're pretty bad. But recently, I lost track on RK one up, how many generation is now. But this one, the graphic and the video, it look very nice. You look at from the side, you know, it's very clear, and the joystick is, is pretty. You know, it just left and right. And it's a two player. Kind of clicking. The button doesn't really click. And there is, wow, 
see the you know how the coin uh, coin is lit up and rk one up does not even have that look at that that is so pretty where the coin is lit up and it actually say 25 cents on it see that that is so you know details and the cabinet is not a picture you know like rk one up where it's just a picture it actually you know and it look very nice it look like it's real now they make the this design because it wasn't they don't i don't think they have this as a the you know wheel arcade cabinet but it's just a design that they put together and i think they did a very good job putting this together all right let's try player one let's insert the coin wow the button even work at the bottom i just press the button here and you can hear the sound for player one and let's start let's press this other button same thing anything else hey this but this one actually push in too this coin thing you actually go in when you push it but that's all the button pushing play so we could get it started so it's giving me like five credit and this is also giving me credit so both of them are just giving me credit Oh, here's the player one. Duh. I keep on press here. Here's player one, here's player two. And the sound is pretty loud. Oh, I'm trying to figure out how to uh, get to the uh, screen selection. So I press the uh, player 2. So there's a uh, two player. Okay, the value control is in the back. Uh, I probably have to read the book and see uh, how to. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, the screen look. The screen it does not look as good as as I'm hoping. Even though I darken it so you can see better, the screen is not as good as I I expected because uh, you tend to see a little bit of a you know to kind of double a little bit of a it's not as good as the previous version the screen okay so just FYI and 
I don't know is it the the scan line is turned on or not but the volume control is in the back and I don't know how to how to get to the main screen but the two player does work uh, I did play a two player uh, the screen if you it actually look not bad but it's not see how you know how to graph it it's kind of I mean it doesn't hurt your eye but it look a little bit it actually look pretty much like a bit type of game it doesn't look as good graphic is you know based on the graphic if you look the same direction I'm looking at it doesn't look that great now if you look directly at it a little bit better the the black is more black but if you look it up like this the black is kind of graded out so but overall it is good it is fun to play and I just did the unbox but this is just a quick uh, unbox game uh, it's selling for 129 so it's a pretty good price and the back here if you I don't know if you can see it there's the control and there's the sound where you can adjust the sound so I'm gonna let it chop oh there's a little bit uh, chip off the the work there is, is chip off now I'm trying to be <laughs> picky but I just noticed that and this is the bottom of it and it's kind of funny is it look have a dirty stuff on it straight from the box I do not know why they have that but I guess you, you get what you pay for and this is kind of upside down right now because I have so it look like that and it's from uh, lamb making China from the Lamco and this is what the, it looked like in the back with the metal kind of frame and the top doesn't really have anything it's just kind of empty well you could actually hold it I guess when you pick it up but overall it's not bad for the price you know uh, it's not the best I mean the artwork is very pretty it's just not the best in the screen my opinion based on the previous one that I bought I feel like the screen is tilted it's nice that it's tilted but it just the screen is not look as good as you know the IPS screen it look better when you look straight at it but when you look from the bottom it's a little bit off by colors and the size is okay both sides good it just from the bottom view is not that great and the top view is good so if the screen was actually flip well well I guess you will be standing well it'll be better if this screen the top will be at the bottom the bottom will be on top because apparently this angle is not that great and that angle is the main angle where people is gonna be looking at unless they stay okay I wasn't able to do the setting so based on the instruction uh, on page two this is the instruction all right so we need to go ahead and wait till it first boot up once this disappear then you hold bub and bob button together to access the setting so that's what i wasn't doing so you can do it in the middle of the gameplay so to turn it off you press the you hold the back of the button for five seconds okay now there also there's a, a reset button if for some reason you have issue you could you could turn it on and then press the coin up insert and that will reset everything back to normal okay so let's just say if we press the on button okay once you turn on let's do the setting first so we're gonna press the once the bubble is gone then we're gonna hold and then that's when the setting came in now like I say this screen turned out I know in the beginning I say it was not bad but actually it is bad this is a TFT screen meaning that one of the angle of the screen is not good which is the one this one see if you move up the screen is changing and the color is 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 changing as well so it kind of it does bother you when you 
unless you're standing straight up and looking at it. So if you now the left and right seem to be okay, but if you're looking at this angle, you could tell it's not good. Okay. Now the up screen is, is, is okay, but the down screen is not. So this screen is not IPS. So this is remind me of Lemco. They have one is a Lemco uh, company that make uh, I forgot how many games is there. Twenty either twenty or twenty four game in one, and they have the same kind of issue. But theirs is more toward the left. This one is pretty bad. It, the bottom screen and the way it's tilted, you know, more forty five degree. Having the screen like that is not acceptable, you know. And by looking at it, you can't even you can't even see the you can't even see the world. See, it, it look when I look at it, it look like this. You know, it's pretty bad. You thought, you can't really see it. All right, so let me tilt it. Let me tilt it forward a little bit so we could see the setting. So we could move the setting. Right now, it's pointing to demo sound. Oop. Let me see if I could move. So this joystick doesn't do anything. Now it's just turning up and down. How'd it go up? Okay. So by clicking the bubble one and two right here, you're able to move that arrow point pointing to go up. So right now it's uh, credit, credit, bonus, life. So we could make the life so you put if you press this button it go down this coin go up okay now to change it you have to use the, the joystick changing from three I'm going to try to see if I could get more life so the maximum life is five let me see if I could focus this okay so the arrow pointing is right there the life is fine now I just change it so I'm gonna push the I'm gonna push the player one bubble to go up and let's see if we can make this easy okay hardest hard medium easy all right so we're gonna do that and all right so the coin two if you want to set it back to factory reset so I'm just gonna save it like that now coin one again is going to uh, we start again with the new setup I did. So I'm gonna put press coin one. I guess you hold it for a few seconds. Or maybe you have to move it down to. Hmm. Oh, coin one. Sorry, coin one is to restart again. Okay, that's coin one. All right, so to reset it, when this disappear, you press the both button in the front right here, same time, to go to the setting. All right, so now the game is in easy setting. So do I recommend this? No, I don't. Matter of fact, I'm gonna repack it and uh, send it back to Amazon. So one thing good about Amazon is there's no hassle. You just pretty much put everything back in a box and tell them you want to return and the reason behind it. you don't you don't even have to put a reason but i'm going to put a reason is uh, i don't like the the screen the way it's designed is it's not good the screen the way it's tilted is nice but you cannot hardly see it so the tft screen is and it's only one game you know today there's more than one game i can make exception but it's only one game and that's the only game and that game look like that you know where the screen is it's not very clear and the color changes depend and I'm not gonna stand straight up playing this game like this because then I cannot see the you know everything so I'm gonna play like that and it doesn't look good you know and I don't really play it in this angle I'm actually playing more like this because because I'm not I'm not my hand is longer so I'm gonna be standing further away from the screen than I'm on top of the um, the camera that I'm recording so I'll be more like this with my hand reaching out like this 
and that is not acceptable because the screen color is is pretty bad okay that's what it looked like right now all right thank you for watching i just want to go over the setup the setting that those of you so if you want to go to the setting you have to turn it off and wait for the bubble to come up and then press this two button to to do the setting all right hopefully this helps i mean it's a nice cabinet i like the idea it light up but this joystick is very stiff you know it's not it's not i mean click but it's not as i feel like the i feel like this is like a you know the little thing that you you stick on the wall <laughs> when people making clothes and that's what it feel like you know it, it's a little bit thicker than the the one that you you pushed to the wall you know what do you call it the thumbnail or something yeah that's what it feel like it look like it feel like they're using that to make this okay the button is okay it's just this this stick compared to the previous one the old one that i have it's just terrible all right okay i'm giving you my honest opinion and hopefully that they will not do this anymore I'll make this kind of cheap uh is is the price is is cheaper is 129 the artwork is not bad the front the the side the way it tilted uh the coin door is is excellent they did a great job you know doing that it just they could have just give us a better screen uh and this screen it just doesn't do it okay all right thank you for watching later